to the Romans. Oh, the depth of the riches and the wisdom and the knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgment and how inscrutable his ways. For who has known the mind of the Lord? Or who has been his counselor? Or who has given a gift to him to receive a gift in return? For from him and through him and to him are all things. To him be the glory forever. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Mark. On that day when evening had come, he said to them, let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd behind, they took with them, he, they took him with them in the boat just as he was. Other boats were with him. A great gale arose, and the waves beat into the boat so that the boat was already being swamped. But he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion. And they woke him up and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. Then the wind ceased and there was a dead calm. He said to them, why are you afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great awe and said to one another, who then is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. Let us pray the creed of our baptism. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. 
I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen.
Good evening and welcome. And a word of welcome and thanks to Father Keith Owen, our efficient this evening. Welcome, Keith, and thank you. Hope you'll join us for some light bites afterwards here in the East Transept uh, with a word of thanks to um, Paige and Todd and Lori for preparing it for us. Join us this coming Sunday if, uh, if you're with us um, for a forum as we gather to hear from the Congregation of Trinity uh, about our bishop's uh, search process. Uh, we've now met uh, Elaine and Anne and Diana, uh, and now in the coming week and a half, we'll be electing our next bishop, our bishop coadjutor. So I invite your continued prayers for that process, and if you'd like, you'd like to share your thoughts on what, uh, what you think the cathedral needs in this moment, what the Diocese of Ohio needs, then you can, of course, speak to me, speak to our, our de delegates and alternates, or you can join us this coming Sunday uh, at 10 a.m. for that forum. We have concluded our stewardship campaign, uh, but as I mentioned on Sunday, one never fully concludes that. Uh, so I want to give a word of thanks to those of you who have made a pledge to, to Trinity in the coming year. We're about three quarters of, of where we're planning, hoping to be, which is about where we are at this time. So if you haven't had a chance to uh, offer a pledge, I invite you to prayerfully consider doing so. Welcome. I invite you in a moment of silence to offer your own prayers of thanksgiving or petition, silently or aloud as they are on your hearts this evening. As we come to the conclusion of an election season and hope for a brief respite before the next one, let us pray. Grant, O oh God, that your holy and life-giving spirit may so move every human heart, and especially the new and continuing leaders of this land, 
that barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear and hatred cease, that our divisions being healed, we may live in justice and peace through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O oh God, you have bound us together in a common life. Help us in the midst of our struggles for justice and truth to confront one another without hatred or bitterness and to work together with mutual forbearance and respect through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Together, the second night prayer in the bulletins. Be present, Spirit of God, within us, your dwelling place and home, that this house may be one where all darkness is penetrated by your light, and all troubles calmed by your peace, all evil redeemed by your love, all pain transformed in your suffering, and all dying glorified in your risen life. Amen. Support us all the day long until the shadows lengthen and the evening comes, and the busy world is hushed and the fever of life is over and our work is done. Then in thy mercy grant us a safe lodging and a holy rest and peace at last. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit rest upon us all this night and remain with us forevermore. Amen. Amen.